found a game that is linked to Skyscraper, made by a Japanese doomsday cult, disguised as a new Buddhist movement, responsible for the incessant rumor of innocent people. Today, I will investigate this miserable group of lunatics. are we looking at right now? If I had to guess, I'd say it's a lonely hikikomori somewhere on the spectrum who watched too much Dragon Ball Z in their impressionable years. Apparently what we're seeing isn't that far off from my hypothesis. It's a meditation practice known as Darduri Siddhis, where cult members will attempt to levitate like they're some kind of airbender. This is direct footage from the Am Shinrikyo video game called Kami Kuishiki Mura Monogotari which in English roughly translates to The Story of Kamikoishiki Village. It was released on June 29th of 1995 by a company known as Omsoft. The game itself comprises largely of banal pieces and public appearances of the cult. <laughs> Wow, Belle Delphine really let herself go, but that bathwater's still selling like hotcakes. Alright, enough jokes, let's break this bad boy down. The game is believed to be many things. Some say it's a nag bar, others say it's a recruitment tool, and some think it's the blueprint for a From all of the possible data my brain can physically gather by looking at this train wreck of assets straight from Microsoft Paint, I can postulate that this is some sort of resource management simulator, wherein you attempt to lead the cult to its ultimate goal. Intertwined within the gameplay are cutscenes of real life recordings of the cult's various affairs. At the price of my sanity, let me try and explain what the narrative of this monstrosity is trying to convey. We begin our journey with this wannabe air nomad failing miserably at creating an air scooter. Next we have what looks like an image of a making sheriff and it's not even though that's probably or rather definitely not what it is at all. I mean, not like it matters since there are only two individually distinguishable entities in the photo anyways humans and defense. It might help if I understood the language, but I'm sure some bilingual Japanese American with too much time on their hands will translate it for me in the comments. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. These next few slides present a man known as Shoko Asahara, who is the infamous cult leader of Am Shinrikyo. 
I know he looks like a friendly panda bear who happens to have his own Minecraft skin. But soon we're gonna find out he's basically the cheap Japanese version of Charles Manson and a huge piece of maggot so I want you all to take your phone or computer screen and spit on it so it's like you're spitting on his stupid face. May he burn in hell. Now we enter the section of the game that is supposedly playable. Set your copies of SimCity and City Skylines ablaze and burn them in a dumpster fire because they're all fake ripoffs of Kamakuishiki Village. This right here is the real deal. You are in charge of Am Shinrikyo. How do you play exactly? Don't ask me. The vague gameplay elements don't make themselves very clear to someone who can't read the text of a text-based game. But honestly, if it weren't for my sparkling commentary, we'd be stuck in a limbo of witnessing every senseless frame this game vomits at us. I don't enjoy wasting your time hyper-observing and showcasing irrelevant details, so I'm going to highlight only the important parts. Throughout the game, events occur based on the choices of the player. Images, audio, and videos of the cult's real-life dealings play out. Am Shinrikyo hosted many politically driven public displays. Marches and dances have been held all throughout Japan to grip the good graces of the people because they had a hunger for power, running for parliament under their own political party. There is also recruitment tools utilized in books, music, VHS tapes, and cable television. They even had their own anime series for a time. As for their whereabouts, they possess their own compound right along the valley in front of Mount Fuji. All of these cult costs can get expensive, but funding is easy when your own members are financially enslaved through the debt you incur on them. Some frames display the identities of these cult members, or its enemies. For example, this unknown woman in a compromising and fragmented photograph allegedly helped its in the cult. Kiyoshi Karia, who was in fact commanded by the cult from an empty street in Tokyo, and confined with the Am Shinrikyo compound until being blocked after he refused to give information on the whereabouts of his sister. She was a previous member that had fled and hid herself from the world. Tsutsumi Sakamoto and his family. He was a lawyer spearheading the lawsuits made against Am Shinrikyo's fraudulent and criminal deeds. Before they invaded his apartment and murdered him, his wife, and his infant son by bashing them with a hammer, injecting their bodies with potassium chloride, and subsequently dismembering and scattering their appendages across Japan. Kunamatsu Takaji the chief of National Police of Japan and lead investigator on the Am Shinrikyo case, narrowly escaped an assassin assassin after being shot four times in front of his home. I am disgusted by what I'm seeing, and unfortunately in telling you all of this, I may have just made myself a target to this cult, as they are still very much alive today. Now going by the name of Aleph. But guess what? They can suck mama's fat throbbing <laughs> because I'm not gonna live a life being afraid of standing up to evil people. Plus, I got all of you watching my back, don't I? Speaking of, by the way, you can watch my back real good 
by supporting me on Patreon. Link in description. Most days I come home from a 12-hour shift and fall straight to sleep knowing I gotta get back up at 4 a.m. the next day, and the next day, and the next day. But if y'all gave me enough, I could quit that job and make these videos for you full-time. Regardless, I am grateful just for the fact that you're watching. So let's get back into it. The cult's primordial beliefs center around syncretism, which is the assimilation of discrete traditions found in a blend of religions and combining these schools of thought into one unity. Seriously? Sounds like some unitology crap straight out of dead space. All mankind brought together with one purpose, with one mind, with one soul. Shoko Asahara is of course none other than the self-proclaimed messiah of these people. His purported purpose was to take upon himself the sins of the world, blessing his followers with spiritual power and relieving them of their wrongdoings. He also scriptured a doomsday prophecy, which included a third world war instigated by the United States, which he referred to as the Beast and described a final conflict culminating in a nuclear Armageddon in 1997. Humanity would end, except for the elite few who joined the cult. Am's mission was not only to spread the word of salvation, but also to survive these end times. In the game, if you fail in leading the cult to flourish and act out its intentions, then you will receive what is considered the bad ending and bring it to its end. The quote-unquote good ending, on the other hand, when making the correct set of gameplay decisions, will end the story on March 20th of 1995. Your cult will execute five coordinated out on three separate Tokyo subway lines using a known as Saren, an extremely toxic synthetic nerve agent intended to depose the Japanese government and initiate the events prophesized by Shoko Asahara. Regrettably, this was actually carried out in real life on March 20th of 1995 by the cult Om Shinrikyo and is to date the most castasurist in Japan. Noriko used to be a checkout girl at a supermarket. Altogether, she has been in hospital for eight and a half years. By inhaling sarin, her brain was deprived of oxygen. Now she can't walk, so she is in a wheelchair. She can't talk either, and she has lost her memory. It is said that this game was the very blueprint for the capacity, that it had a hand in recruiting and training the perpetrators. But we'll see about that. Disturbingly enough, some of the Gitsinate Park footage in game does originate from sources within the cult compound. Many examples are completely indistinguishable from what Am Shinrikyo publicly promotes, and others were not even publicly available. That is until after the subway has been received. Thousands of hours of Am Shinrikyo tapes aired on international news for months after the attack. And we can even see actual footage from Fluss in the game. So how anyone theorized that this game was somehow made while showcasing the literal coverage from it is beyond me. But still, who made it? And why? So far we have one lead. 
ComSoft. When we search for that company title through the surface web, we'll only find publications referencing the startup screen and the end screen of the game, but no actual information or history behind the name itself. There is no official website, social media, or documented history of this corporation anywhere that I can find. There is only one official periodical that cites Omsoft as an official developer for the story of Kamikuishiki Village. Game Urara. A physical Japanese newsletter advertised it and included a floppy disk to play it in the fourth volume of their magazines released in the summer of 1995, but the lack of both electronic and physical paper trails, specifically copyright documentation, tells me that this Omsoft is unestablished and unregistered, meaning it could have been made by anyone. The story of Kamikuishiki Village can be classified as Dojin Soft, which are video games Japanese hobbyists work on for recreation, the equivalent of a homebrew fan game. Finding the mastermind would be near impossible, especially given my geographic and linguistic limitations. Thankfully, I know a guy who knows a guy. On the game Urara advertisement for the story of Kamikuishiki Village, we will find a publisher with a name that might ring a distinctively familiar sound. Kowloon Kurosawa, the developer of Hong Kong 97. For those of you unaware, Hong Kong 97 was one of the prime old school mysteries, and just so happens to be the inspiration for the main theme of my Suiverasne. And if you didn't already know, yes, I used to review Hasne. Back to the topic. Hong Kong 97 was an unlicensed Super Nintendo game that was also released in 1995 infamously known for its status as the worst game ever made, as well as the fact that it was rejected by every video game retailer in Japan. Not to mention that it's the only Super Nintendo game to ever show real-life heroic. I highly recommend watching the AVGN video by Cinemassacre and the complete history documentary by the Ultra Healthy Video Game Nerd on their respective channels if you'd like to know more. Why, though, is Kowloon Kurosawa's fake company HappySoft recognized as the publisher for the Om Shinriku game on one of these underground articles? If he is in fact the developer, I can't say I'd be very surprised. This is right up his alley. Kurosawa is notorious for his unconventional creative process and questionable business practices. However, when reached out to, he denied responsibility for its creation but confessed he knew who was. Two high school friends of his who also shared his affinity for bizarre video game slash journalism hybrids. The name of the group they went by is Kanai Karasawa. I found two names recorded behind the title, Takeshi Kanai and Kuichi Karasawa. Kowloon Kurosawa confirmed they are the friends who made the story of Kamikuishiki Village. Not as a blueprint for not as a benign bar piece to recruit members, and not as a fan-made project worshipping the cult. It was... a meme. Their only purpose? To make fun of Om Shinrikyo. Takeshi Kanai, Kuichi Kanasawa, and even Kowloon Kurosawa are trolls. Some of the very first in internet history. Perhaps even the fathers of it. They create falsehoods widely believed by mainstream media for sport. But they're not monsters. They're just ahead of the curve. I might even consider them heroes. For shedding light on a rogue entity. For finding optimism in a terrifying situation and for their partial role in birthing one of my most favorite pastimes. But that's a tale for another time. Our story doesn't end here, however. Remnants of the Om 
name Shinrikyo Cult, Aleph. They are alive. They are active. And they are dangerous. 1995. Two months after the Sarin attack, Japan was made aware that Am Shinrikyo might have its own military force, and stationed the 1st Airborne Brigade of the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force nearby, as Tokyo police arrested Shoko Asahara, and the culprits responsible for the attack. Asahara faced 27 counts of murder and 13 separate indictments. The prosecution argued that Asahara gave orders to a in order to overthrow the government and install himself in the position of Emperor of Japan. Just last year. Turns out levitation can't save yourself from being. 2000. The group was placed under surveillance for a period of three years under an anti AM law in which the group is required to submit a list of members and details of assets to authorities. 2003, Japan's Public Security Intelligence Agency found evidence which suggested that the group still revered Asahara. The authorities still considered the group Hideo Asahara. 2013, the Public Security Intelligence Agency took a photograph inside of Aleph's facilities. In this photograph, a bundle of papers is pierced with a knife on an altar-like object. The papers included photographs of police officers and lawyers who helped followers leave Am Shinrikyo. People to send Christmas cards? 2016, the investigative committee of Russia announced it opened a criminal case against Am Shinrikyo followers. The Russian government banned Am Shinrikyo in the country, declaring it 2019. Kazuhiro Kosakabe intentionally rammed into pedestrians crowded into a narrow Takashita street. Cast a terrorist in retaliation for the Nishikis head of Am Shinrikyo Doomsday Cult members. Eight were hospitalized, but thankfully no one was. But I think it's safe to say that I am no longer safe from the likes of Aleph. But as I said, I'm not going to live a life being afraid of standing up to evil people. And the best way you can help me, non-jokingly, truly, seriously, is supporting me on Patreon. It is the very thing that funds these films. And to those of you that already have, my heart melts for you, dude. Thank you. And to those of you who can't or choose not to, that's okay. Just thank you so much for watching. And now, here is a wrap I made. For my top patrons. Spread those ass cheeks, Isaiah Wams, Lee, go to hell and Commonwealth. I goddamn hate you, tend the great, you make me sick. Sir, I lich, grow up here, audio air. Suffocate, narrow lock, under dock, go get eaten by a line, Brian, and still fit.